Stepping in to the DH, number 22, Stephen Cooper. Baseball, America's pastime. The late Bill Vack once said, there are only two seasons, winter and baseball. From fall conditioning at 6 a.m. to late night practices the day before a game, there's more to collegiate baseball than meets the eye. Stop number two, Kyle Bailey. My name is Kyle Bailey. I uh, I'm a fifth year senior. Actually, uh, I had uh, surgery on my shoulder uh, during my sophomore year, so that's given me a, an extra year of eligibility. Uh, but being a collegiate athlete, I guess in in a way for me has has been as as cliche as it sounds, it's been a dream come true. Uh, especially here at Anderson. Anderson was the one place that really stood out to me athletically. So for one, Anderson has been a dream come true to be able to play baseball here. Uh, but two, trying to balance school and being an athlete it is a little bit more difficult than I than I realized it would be. Really, when you're in college, your sport that you're playing is your job. Uh, so for me, a lot of time was dedicated to playing baseball, whether it's practice or anything else. Uh, but the school part kind of got uh, a little bit more difficult as we try to go through that. There will be times when we'll have road trips where Saturday night you know, we'll get home from a road trip that's five hours away and we'll get home at you know one, two in the morning and you know you've got to prepare for a big test 8 a.m. the next day. And the thing that's even probably the most challenging is the fact that you know we are student athletes you know and obviously student comes first before athlete uh, and as challenging as Division II athletics is the most challenging part is often being a student. Uh, you know, you, you're trying to think of, the, an easy example is you're basically trying to juggle three jobs. You know, you're trying to be a student, trying to be a good student, but then you're trying to be an athlete and a good one, but then you also have, you know, you're trying to work out, you're trying to make sure everything in your body is well enough to where you can be a good athlete, and then at the same time that goes into how well of a student you can be. And, and so being in a student, can be the most challenging only because you have to give as much of your time to that as you do to your sport. Uh, and sometimes that is the most difficult part to be able to juggle. Next up, the right fielder, number nine, Mason Covey. Mason Covey, sophomore outfielder from Piggins, South Carolina. Uh, since I've been playing at the collegiate level, uh, the biggest thing it's taught me is uh, work ethic and time management, and that's something you don't understand until you are put in that situation. I never knew much about time management until I got to college, and with baseball and all my academics, it's just you have to get, have good time management, and that's something that baseball offers for me. It just it keeps me in check, it gives me a schedule to go by, and um, with all the workouts and all the practices, I always have something to do and it keeps me busy. A lot of people just think it's just baseball games and academics, but there's a third aspect that's a key point in uh, a successful athlete, and that's also keeping your body in shape. Um, you have to be physically fit, you have to take cuts in the cage, um, and just work out consistently. The fall is the most important because that's where you're working the hardest and um, making sure that you're gonna make the cut come springtime. Um, but there's nothing like that opener at Anderson Memorial. It's crazy. Fans are in the stands, and uh, it's just it's an awesome intensity at the ball field. Playing 50 plus games uh, in a baseball season, it's strenuous. It's wear and tear on your body. Um, the one thing that college athletics has taught me is uh, fighting adversity. It, um, you have to push through the season, you have to keep your body in shape, and uh, you have to finish through whatever you do. Baseball is a team sport, and um, you rely on everybody in that lineup. 
Even the people in the uh, dugout, they're a huge, huge contribution to the wins and losses in the season. Um, if your intensity in the dugout's not high enough, then it's going to show out on the field. I'm Carson Barrett. I'm a freshman first baseman at Anderson. Um, when, I came, when I first came in, I really didn't know what to expect from all the guys. I didn't know if I was going to fit in well or if I was going to mesh with the other guys. I didn't even know what my role would be as a part of the team, but ever since the first day I came in, I really meshed well with the guys. Uh, they took me in like a brother, and um, we do everything together. We eat together, we study together, and we win together, lose together, and but no matter what, they always have my back. It's been a passion of mine to be a collegiate athlete ever since growing up, three years old, playing wiffle ball with my parents. You know, it's been a dream, and it's a dream come true. It's not about scholarship money. It's not about um, the extra gear that we get. You know, it's not about who looks up to us or who doesn't. It's just about being here. We're student athletes. We're students first, then we're athletes. But being the athlete in the student athlete conversion makes it so that we have that extra pride. We have that extra meaning when we're walking around. We, we, we know that we're a reflection of the school, uh, a reflection of our professors, a reflection of our coaches, parents, siblings in general. Uh, so whenever we put that uniform on, we know that you know, the, guy, the guy that we're suiting up next to is not, he's not gonna be necessarily in our minds the, the next MLB prospect or draft pick or even all-star. He's going to be the, the business management major. He's going to be the, the role model for the rest of our students, the guys that our freshmen can look up to. He's a person first. He's not just a jock. And I think that's what's so important about the persona that we have is that a lot of people, you know, we, they understand that being a student athlete is important but there's a lot of different aspects that go into it that make it so, um, so special. Sometimes we come out here and there's, there's 500 fans. Some days we come out and there's 100 fans, or maybe less. But sometimes, uh, you know, no matter how hard it is, we have to find it within ourselves to still be kind of an inspiration. You know, there's kids up in the stands who look up to us. You know, they come up and sometimes ask for autographs. It's not the autographs that we're signing for the kids that, that mean the most, it's being that student athlete aspect of it, where we're signing uh, graduate school papers, you know, so that we can further our education and, and be, uh, you know, members of the community that give back and that can contribute to society. It's about love and passion for the game that we've been playing since we were little kids, like the little kids watching us. And we have to be little kids when we play. It's it's fun. It's supposed to be fun, and it means more to me than I can ever express in words. It's that pride that I always have in myself to be able to be one of the few to say that they were able to play college athletics. For some, this is the end of the road. For others, it's only the beginning. Either way, being a part of a collegiate baseball team is a brotherhood, something you carry with you the rest of your life. Is it on? Hey guys, my name's Chris. I love the game of baseball.
I know you're privileged to be seeing this footage. But no autographs unless you're willing to pay $10 a piece. I'm sorry, it's for the kids. Just keep going everywhere I go.